Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing and taking a look at the Asgard from my AirBot. So this is a flight F4 flight controller with a 4-in-1 ESC as well as an OSD and a 5 volt regulator for your camera. So it does include the SD card expansion which is awesome and it has two tantalum capacitors right here. So these do uh, filter out the higher frequency noise and since they have it next to the OSD, I think this should help a little bit. So hopefully it'll help a lot actually. Now let's just take a look at the board. So the board actually looks very nice. It looks good quality. Uh, there's nothing really much to say until we start testing this and actually putting it on the bench right now to see how it copes with noise. So here we have the shunt resistor, which is a current sensor, which is always a plus to have a current sensor so this is this is a good first step right here it's running an f4 flight controller uh beta flight osd also so that's plus now here they don't provide you with anything this is how you get it that's it no dampeners no wires no nothing you just get it in a box well that's how i got mine i bought it straight from airbot and uh that, that's how i got it just like this now here what i could see is i see the you could solder up here so if you don't have connectors you can just solder them here and i'm actually thinking of just ripping these off so it'll make my life easier here to solder but we'll see when, when i stick it on a build um let's take a look at these ports now so here we would have this port right here it would be tx1 and then this is rx1 so that's uart1 right here these two belong to uart1 and here's 5 volt and here's ground so i'm going to be powering my uh camera from here this is 5 volt positive and this is the ground for 5 volt now we're jumping to the second connector the first one would be tx6 and then the second one would be rx6 so this would be on the uart6 tab uh so these two belong to uart6 and if we go down here we have it's saying 5 volts to 3 volt so i don't know what this is i don't know how we could select this um but i'm gonna ignore this for now i'm not gonna use it and then here we have ground for this so yeah now let's take a look on the other side um so on the other side right here so the first port on this connector would be ground and then this would be led which means this is the signal of your led this one is the five volt this is five volt positive and then if we jump down to the last one of this connector with this one right there which would be the buzzer ground okay and then now let's jump here so video in so this would be where your yellow line goes in on this one right there and then here we have a ground and this is video out this would be the yellow line going to your vtx and then here we have another ground so if you want to ground your vtx from here that's awesome so and we do have an SD card expansion for your black box if you ever needed to debug problems and hopefully we don't have to and that's really it let's check out the motor layouts now so the pin the 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 pads here they're, they're pretty good sides so we're going to be able to solder just fine on these um and let's just take a look at the orientation so where is the arrow All right, so the orientation is a bit difficult since I don't know why they did not print the arrow on mine, but it's pointing this way. So this side would be up and this would be the front right there. And that makes sense because look, here's motor one, that's correct. Motor two, that's correct. And then motor three, that's correct. And then motor four, that's correct. But this is kind of weird because, you know, usually they would come like this. So you have everything here, but then you'd have a very hard time connecting to your USB. So this is a bit strange, um, it's not my favorite design, but you know, you, hopefully it performs, I mean, it's, it's it seems promising. So we're going to stick it on the bench, and we're going to test it, we're going to be recording the FPV footage, and then I truly believe this is going to need some kind of low ESR capacitor, everything is just, you know, squished together, everything everywhere. So let's give it the benefit of the doubt and try it out. Alright guys, so before we begin, I just wanted to say something, um, I've already started actually, and um, what I had to do is I had to figure out a way to hijack the signal 1 output on this, so there's motor 1, it has a little, little, tiny, 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 uh, little pad thingy, so I assume this was the signal, but however, uh, when I put it, when I turn it on, the ESC initializes, but I think it keeps it disarmed, so I was trying, I tried to hijack the signal through here, 
and um, it just would not allow me. So I really could not push my script through to to actually. Uh, I, I could not hijack the signal to actually have it do what I want. So I could not run my script, my noise testing script in here. Um, however, what I did is I just took, I went into beta flight, and I just started playing with the, uh, tried to mimic in a way what I do with my with my noise script. Um, it's it's nowhere near as what I, what that does, but it's just something. Um, if you guys want to see that. However, the real testing is going to be for a flight, and this is going to be my next build. I really want to test this guy out. Because, to be honest, I think if it works, this is just absolutely amazing. But I really believe that it's going to have a lot of noise. Because, like, just for an example, okay, you have two tantalum capacitors here next to the OSD, which is good. But, I mean, you get a $10 ESC, which is this guy right here, and it has just one, okay? So, when you have four ESCs, that's four. So, here you have four ESCs, and they're a lot stronger than this guy. So uh, then you have two here. So, I mean, I don't know. I think it'll help, but, uh, you know, time will tell uh, once we put it on a build. And the amount of capacitors, I mean, <laughs> look how many this guy has compared to this guy. And this is just one. So, I mean, I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. I really want this to work. I really want to try this. I'm very excited for this. I haven't been excited for uh, for something for a while, except there was, what, the, the F three v4 when that first came out but that just really killed my hopes that was just absolutely terrible anyways um this i have seen i've, I've done my research people are complaining of noise and it's to be honest it's pretty obvious it's going to have noise however if it does have noise it's i'm very disappointed with with um, airbot that they don't at least provide low esr capacitor like Maytech. i mean you know people have to go shop some people don't know which capacitors to buy um, unless you do your research. So, I mean, if they could put some, like, a Rubicon or a Panasonic with them. I mean, they're $90. $90. That's, that's without shipping. So, you know, just, just throw in that little capacitor. I mean, it, and it doesn't even come with wires. This is how it comes. That's it. That's all it comes with. These are, these are, are kind of rigged up so I can put it in my testing environment. However, it kind of held up to my testing environment a little bit. I'll show you right now. But it's really nothing concrete. It's just... Yeah, it's just me just moving the uh, motor tab up and down. And I'm very upset that I couldn't hijack the signal. So uh, we're going to have to put this on a build to really test it. And I'm really going to go, well, I don't know if I'm going to go crazy. I'll just probably put Emacs 2205S motors on this guy. I'm not sure yet. So we'll put some noisy motors, that's for sure, just to get an idea of what we really need to have this work properly. And um, yeah, so I'm going to leave you with that. And then, yeah, check it out. So, I mean, as you can see, there was a little noise, but that's really nothing. We can't really say anything about that. Um, it, it was really nothing. So, uh, uh, it seemed like it held up pretty well, but I'm nowhere near as fast as the, the script actually run in every couple microseconds. So, in every millisecond. Um, so, th th that's really it. That's all I can really show you now until I actually build it. But I just really wanted to just show you guys how this... this, this uh, uh, flight controller slash ESC is it's pretty awesome really I'm really excited I know it's I know it's gonna have some problems but if it works if we get it to work properly I think it's gonna be very good I mean look just uh, just the amount of space you're gonna save in here and just the, the just all you gotta do is just solder a couple things and you're done but you know I can't get my hopes up too high because then I, I don't want to be disappointed with this guy ninety dollars so I really hope he performs so yeah and I believe this is the latest batch. I don't know if there was batches before. I've seen some with heat sinks here. Mine didn't come with a heat sink. So I don't know why, but that's totally fine. So that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope it helped you. I know it wasn't up to what I usually do, but I really could not do anything. I tried my best to hijack the signal. I could not. Um, maybe I'll look into it more or contact someone from Betaflight, see if they can figure something out for me. Um, but I highly doubt someone's going to answer me. Um, and 
that is really it guys i really hope it helped you out there and if you have any suggestions or any comments just feel free to let me know and if you have any questions i'm, I'm right here and don't forget go ahead check out my facebook page i'm always on it so um if you have questions you could ask me there also i just respond right away usually and um yeah and you can get little nice sneak previews of what i'm up to and, and me setting up and everything if you're just curious about that or what's coming up next um, and that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed this and it helped someone out there and that's it uh we'll see you next time guys see ya take care